shrimp and grits for dinner for the boys. Um, I did a video clip of dinner last night and that was a lot of fun. Just kind of a sneak peek of everything that goes on in the kitchen. Um, shrimp and grits are a lot of fun to me. I enjoy it. Um, we used to sell it in our restaurants. So I taught all the guys in the kitchen how to fix it right. Um, what's up? I got Kicks is joining us. What's going on, my hey, friend? Hey, Kicks, what's up? I'm going to dice up some bacon. It's a thinner bacon, so I'm using like a good bit of bacon. What that's going to give me is grease in the pan for a roux for the gravy. And it's also going to give me um, some grease so that my veggies don't stick. So I'm going to go ahead and get some bacon down in the pan. Joshua, how you doing this evening, my friend? Good to see you, my friend. Good hey to guys. see you, too. I got kicks. Hope y'all are having a great day today. With the sausage, I always cut lengthwise, uh, like I showed y'all on the Dang video brownies. With this recipe, I do the sausage a little bit thinner. I like to get it, you know, good and brown with the bacon before I start adding any of the veggies in. And I just kind of eye it. I usually don't do as much sausage as I do bacon on this Illinois recipe. Illinois country boy, what's up? What's up? How you doing, my friend? Hello, hello. Hope y'all are having a great day today. Well, I guess I'd do some more sausage. Good to see everybody. Thank y'all for coming too. This is like too. half of a link of sausage, you guys. You know, it comes in a big horseshoe link. This is smoked sausage. Um, I like the Polska kielbasa sausage too. Um, and you can see the bacon in the pan. So I'm going to come over here and stick this on a burner. You can see I'm using a deeper like fry pan uh, for this because it will be kind of a a one skillet meal so to say what's up in the bushes how you doing brother how you doing today hydroponic auto flowers what is up what hey is guys, up guys what's up hope y'all are having a great day there's my sister jen life up in here what's up hey, jen, jen life how you doing hope y'all are having a great evening today i just put some sausage smoked sausage and some bacon in that skillet that's going to start to fry get some juices flowing you got some blue mile beans that's awesome my friend Ah. Heck yeah, that's supposed to be really, really good stuff right there. We got Lulu and Laura Vloggers up in here with us right now as well. How y'all doing today, Lulu and Laura Vloggers? How's everything going? So I, good to see y'all. Yo, yo, hydroponic out of flowers. I put some water on the bowl. I'm putting some salt in it. This will be for the grits, y'all. Um, put some pepper in it. I also um, have over here four cups, four and a half cups of water and five chicken cubes. I'm going to stick this in the microwave to make some fresh chicken broth. Then, sweet um, Nessie, what is up? What is up? How you doing, Sweet Nessie? Five minutes and let that chicken broth start to boil down. And I'm going to sneak back over here. We are making some southern style shrimp and grits. These yeah, are some of the best I've grits. ever had. So we're going to share the recipe. I, I, I suggest you take note or either come back and rewatch <laughs> the video. Yeah. You're going to want to try this if you like shrimp and grits. This is a kick-ass recipe. So, um... Lemons are getting kind of scarce around here, so I'll have to resort over to lemon juice shortly, but I did find a decent looking yellow lemon at the store. Um, I've got a pound and a half. This is a 3140 P and D shrimp. Now what that means is that you get 31 to 40 shrimp per pound, and P and D it means that they're peeled and they're deveined. So we've got them peeled, there's no tails on them, and they've been fully deveined off the bag. Um, so that puts a lot of work out of it already. So this is a 3140 P and D shrimp. Um, they've been kind of, you know, straining out a little bit. They were frozen. They've been thawing for a little bit this afternoon. I'm going to toss that liquid off, put the shrimp in my bowl, and cut me a lemon open. So I've got, I would say, about a pound and a half of shrimp here. Um, and I'm going to use a quarter of a lemon for the juice on it. And I'm just going to actually fresh squeeze that juice over the top. The conservative patriot. What's up, brother? How you doing today? Sweet Nessie's with us right now as well. Sorry, guys. I've got, I've lost my voice a little bit, so <laughs> forgive me for that. <laughs> so I'm going to squeeze the life out of that quarter lemon right there. Um, set that lemon to the side. And then what I usually add is a all-purpose seafood seasoning this is an old bay um seasoning that i've mixed with some cajun seasoning um and it is delicious either way we're basically just going to marinate these shrimp for a little while while we're making our uh, roux and our gravy for the shrimp and waiting on the grits to get done so you know I'm, that dang brownies <laughs> <laughs> i'm pretty um lenient when it comes over here to mixing up this stuff i had a little sizzle over there in the pan this is 
plain old garlic salt with some parsley. Um, I love the garlic in most everything. And then I'm going to do some salt and pepper on them. And I might actually squeeze another quarter of that lemon. I'm going to mix it up and just see what it looks like, you guys. Phoenix, what's up, brother? How you doing today? Phoenix Rising, my friends. Y'all check them out as well. So to recap, you guys, I got some sausage and bacon sizzling in the pan over there. I have a pound and a half of P&D 3140 shrimp right here. Soaking in some lemon juice, some Old Bay, some Cajun seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic salt. I'm just kind of tossing that to coat. And then these are going to sit and rest over here until it's time to use them. Um, and I got a good coating with that quarter of the lemon, so I'm not going to come back with any more lemon right now. The lemon juice, it can kind of alter the flavor of some recipes, so I don't try to overdo it. You can sub in lime juice, but I'm just a fan of the lemon juice. Holy because. smokes, we got Simple Brower up in here, everybody. What is up, Brower. Simple Brower? How have you been doing? Oh I had to stop and check in on Simple Grower the other day. She's a great friend of ours, and it's good to see you, and I hope everything is going well, too. All right, so we're done with seasoning our shrimp. Gabrielton Guitars, what is up, my friend? I vote Trump and NRA. Bam, okay. me too, my friend. We got Vegan so. Realist up in here. Scott Brogan, what's up, brother? Simple Scott. Brower. Bam! Phoenix Rising just bombed us up with five bucks. Thank you very yes. much for that, my friend. I appreciate that very much. We got the NDT show up in here right now as well, too. Dank Brownies, too. We got Sky Watcher footage joining us and my boy, Dank Brownies. Heck yeah, in the bushes as well. It's getting hungry. I tell you yeah. what, everybody up in here right now, y'all make sure to grab each other up while you can. Oh, shoot. How did we not get Sky Watcher footage turned into a moderator the other day? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'll get that fixed just, up later, my friend. I've Winter this, days, what's up? Sorry, go ahead, Mom. You're fine. I've got the bacon and sausage on high. It's over here just sizzling down. And then I'm going to sneak back over here and I start chopping up some veggies. Terrence Shore, what's up, brother? How you doing today? Hey, Terrence. Miss um, JoJo, what is up? What is up? A lot of people do bell peppers all differently when it comes to chopping them. Um, the quickest way I've found is just to go around. I know some people would worry about that or some of the edges, but I'm not. So I'm just gonna um, put the red pepper here. I've got a green and a yellow. They have been washed off and rinsed off, you guys. Terrence Shower, good to see you, brother. Hope you're doing well, too. We've been missing you, too. I know you've been on every day. Y'all need to check out Ter Terrence Trover, my friend. Sorry, I'm actually talking a little bit funny because <laughs> it's so dang cold in here right now. Woo! Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's up, Ghost Pirate? How you doing today? Okay. Yeah, Mrs. AAP's got me freezing up in here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, so I've got some peppers right here. We're going to dice those down. I'm just going to check on this bacon again. Um, we're getting some movement, some sizzle, some browning. That's exactly what I want to see on all of this meat. You want to get it browned up, get some of the grease coming out of that. Of course, I do have my trusty can of a beef, um, beef, a bacon fat over here. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I catch up over here. Um, Y'all saw me cut the meat up on the other cutting board. This is usually my veggie fruit board. I don't like using onions, particularly <laughs> on this board, but I will tonight. Um, onions leach into your cutting board, and when you go to cut something else on them, you can get that flavor back out of it, and I don't like that. But uh, we're just Nathan feel. said, look at all the delicious red, yellow. Uh, red, green, and yellow bell peppers. Know, Yummy, can't spell it. Beautiful. All right. Vegan, good to see you, my friend. Y'all check out Vegan Realist, too. He's got a great channel, too. We got Miss JoJo up in here saying, what is up? I'm Jen Mom. What is up, Miss JoJo? Oh, Bam. Good to see you, Miss JoJo. Hope you're having a great day. Y'all make sure to check out Jen Life as well, too. She's fun to hang out with. I may or may not use all of these uh, onions and peppers, y'all. I'm going to dice them and see what they look like in the pan. Thank you, Ghost um, Pirate. Hey, Grandma Moses, how you doing, Grandma? Hey, Grandma Moses. Good to see y'all. Hope you're having a great night tonight. Yep, absolutely. Evening, I should say. It ain't dark yet, but... No, not too dark yet. Um, so I'm just going to take it kind of slow on the peppers, you guys. I'm going to get them diced up pretty well over here. Let me stir that bacon again. Sticky. But that's exactly what I want, you guys. You want to kind of cook the bacon, cook the sausage, get it looking good. Miss JoJo says she loves to see you cook. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate well, that, Miss JoJo and Jen. Uh, we cook a lot in this house. I'm getting a little bit of movement over here out the grit floor, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put 
put in a whole stick of butter. Y'all know I love butter if you watch my last video. <laughs> and the bushes said T minus five. And with the whole stick of butter, bam. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gotta have put, butter up in this house. I also put five beef, uh, five chicken cubes in with four and a half cups of water. So we have a chicken broth sitting over here, y'all. And that's gonna go into our roux for our gravy that goes over the grits. We're making shrimp and grits Southern style. I say Southern style kind of loosely because this is really a delicacy where we're from in Charleston, South Carolina. You really don't find shrimp and grits in a lot of places. And I can honestly say that we are the home of shrimp and grits. <laughs> it was traditionally kind of a poor man's meal just because you could go out to the river and catch you some shrimp at any time and you could catch you some um, crabs at any time and uh, put some crab meat in this. It would be an excellent addition at the end. Even scallops if you got a little bit of change in your pocket to get some scallops. Gabrielle says his wife makes way too much Mexican food. <laughs> <laughs> we love Mexican food here as well too. Oh yeah, we do. We Miss Jojo's loving that butter too. Jen Life said, I love my vegetable garlic and butter. Mom cooking ribs. <laughs> Bang! Man, y'all having ribs tonight? Oh my god. Sounds gosh. awesome. I'm actually going to cut that down a little bit. Then come and grab me some flour. Set that flour over here for a minute. Um, you can see over here we've got a good bit of bacon grease that's cooked out of this. I'm still chopping veggies, so I'm just turning this down to low for a couple minutes. But, and I'm going to pull it to the side so it's not cooking a whole lot more because they're about how I want them to be for this particular recipe. I'm probably going to add a little dash more of some bacon grease in there in a second. Um, but yeah, this is a really easy recipe, y'all. Um, if you like shrimp, if you've never had grits before, it's not something you put sugar in, y'all. <laughs> And the grits are made to be salty with butter and pepper and hot sauce if you want hot sauce with cheese. Appreciate that, um, Terrence. You could put anything you want to on top of them, and they're good as long as they're salty. I can't eat. Terrence has a great channel, my friend. Y'all go check him out. And if you can't make it to church, get over there to Terrence Trower's channel, my friend. It'll be just as good or better than going to church. You don't want to add sugar to anything but oatmeal, and grits is not oatmeal, okay? So, if you only have green peppers, this works with only green peppers. Um, in the restaurant, when we would serve this to people, uh, we're going to cook it how I cooked it there. But if we had a short run of colored peppers, then I would do only green peppers. And nobody would ever know the difference. Um, <laughs> and the bushes told me to be quiet. <laughs> no, you don't have to be quiet. <laughs> um, may or may not cut into that second onion again. I kind of just eye them, depending on the size of them. Um, and we will throw all of these veggies in that mix in just a minute. I wanted that meat to be on the well done side to try to get some of that good grease out of them. And then we're going to cook these onions and peppers in them. And that's why I pulled them to the side. And you can see I'm about half and half. I like to be a little bit heavier on the onion side than the pepper side, so I may or may not even use all of those peppers. Judd Rios, what's up, my friend? Thank you very much. Good to see you, Judd. Hope you're having a great day, my friend. Yeah, absolutely, guys. It's been a crazy day here. Home Later, school. Dank, man. Take care, bro. Yeah, good to see you. Make sure you come back if you want to get this shrimp and grits recipe. It's the best I've ever had, and I'm very picky. I'm from South Carolina. I grew up on seafood. And I tell you, the first time Mrs. AAP made the shrimp and grits for me, I was blown away. That's why I was wanting to share this recipe. Yes, this is a favorite in our seafood restaurants that we have had. Um, Shout AAP out to Levi family. and your family, Brother Judd Rios. Well, thank, thank you greatly, you, my Judd. friend. Hope okay. you and your family are doing well, too. I'm going to come over here and add me some peppers. Willie Tolan, what's up? Willie, how you doing today, my friend? Again, I don't want to get too heavy on the peppers. Uh, hang on one second, folks. My finger hit the wrong button, but we're back now. Bam! There we go. So she's added the onions and bell peppers. Sorry for that. What is up, Ariel Williams? How you doing today, Ariel? Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. We're making some southern-style shrimp and grits. I'm sneaking some more bacon grease on the top of these. 
The conservative patriot says go, Mrs. AAP. <laughs> The Conservative Patriot has a great channel. I recommend y'all yeah. checking them out as well, too. All right, so we're going to let those sizzle down for a little bit, and then we're going to come over here check out this grits. Ghost Pirate said, never had grits. Holy smokes, oh Ghost goodness. Pirate, you're missing out, my friend. Yeah, you are. <laughs> so I buy the giant, like, five, ten-pound bags of grits, and then I store them in my mason jar. Um, in Charleston, South Carolina, where we're from, uh, this is kind of a delicacy when served with yellow grits. I haven't got any or found any corn grits around Michigan. Um, it's hard enough to find white grits. So we are using the white grits. Um, they have been ground and bleached. Um, with this type of recipe, you guys, anytime I cook grits, I just kind of wing it. <laughs> so we're just going to wing it again. Um, Sorry about that, Grandma. What you do? You cut I had off? my finger in the way. <laughs> yep, yeah, we've got salt, pepper, and a stick of butter in here. I would say it's at least probably four or five cups of water, maybe six. Um, again, I just kind of eye it as I go. And then I have my handy dandy evaporated milk. Um, I love cooking everything with evaporated milk. Um, it helps that it's already room temperature. You don't have to temper it at all. And it can just go straight into recipes without adjusting temperatures. Grits are ground up corn. It's like cornmeal. It's been bleached. Yeah. So it's a whiter color after they bleach it. Grits are good with butter and salt and pepper, but this is the best way to eat grits right here is with some seafood on top. Oh, yeah. Now, we eat them for breakfast um, in the South, again, with salt, pepper, cheese, um, all that goodness in it. Some people call it porridge. Uh, porridge, I think of oatmeal when I hear porridge. Yeah. Oatmeal is different than grits. So we're just stirring that. I'm bringing it up to a bowl, just kind of eyeing it. It thickens as it goes. And I have not touched these veggies over here. I bump the pan back up and I'm just letting these simmer. And whenever we would do these in the restaurant, we would of course have all the veggies and the meat and everything at hand like I did, but they would have um, the gas obviously flames going they'd have better pans and they would be able to flash grill everything in one pan like this in a saute pan and it would go a lot quicker but uh i figured we're here to hang out for a little bit tonight and you know see how i do it a little bit slower hey good evening bonnie rose how you doing today joe awesome one what's up brother how you doing today hey, joe? joe thank y'all for joining us greatly appreciate each and every one of y'all thank y'all very much gives us a reason to keep coming back <laughs> get some awesome people up in the chat thank y'all for being here with us and i am going to go ahead and add some cream to these grits like i said they are going to thicken as they go um my brother blind cube what's up bro how's everything going man hey blind cube hopefully you're staying warm circle track three uh eight three what's up my friend how you doing circle track Making me hungry. Bang! I hear that. It smells so good, too. Where's smell of vision when you need it? So, we've got bell peppers and onions that went in right after the meat because I had to get some uh, grease cooked in from the meat. So, I let the meat go, um, pulled the meat to the edge, and then I'm focusing on the peppers and onions in the center of the pan. And they're just sizzling down um, into that beautiful grease. And I did sneak an extra probably teaspoon of bacon grease in the bottom there. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Um, keep an eye on these grits. You want to keep them whisked just because they can get clumpy on you. And clumpy grits are disgusting. So, so you know that grits are fresh. Teresa Lagara, how you doing, Teresa? Welcome back. Glad to see you today as well, yeah, too. There's a few names in here that are gray right now. When y'all come back, I will turn y'all blue yeah, this evening after the show once the chat uploads. That way, when y'all come in, y'all can drop your link if you'd like to share some of the content y'all are creating or just get your name out there a little bit. I don't mind y'all dropping new video links. Drop your name, drop your channel, whatever you want to do. Make right. it easy for everybody to grab your channel up. Everybody up in here right now is definitely great supporters and great people to grab up for your channels as well. What never that? had grits. Gabrielle said, never had grits, but it loves shrimp. Heck yeah, you got to try this out, my friend. Yeah. So your grits, you want them to be thick, not too thick, and not too thin. It's kind of just a working order. You know, I add cream, I add butter, salt, pepper, 
And then just keep whisking them. Um, Joe also said, when are we going to add the weed? <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of good recipes for that, Joe. <laughs> um, we need to do something later, you know, cooking with cannabis one day where we can get the kids out the house for a little while. Yeah. Cook something so, up. That's what I'm looking for right there, you guys. Y'all can see I'm starting to get some good color with those veggies. And I go ahead and mix my meat back in just so I can get a grip on how much exactly I have grease wise in here. I'm more focused on the grease right now than I am the veggies. I see the veggies are getting to where they need to be. They're tender, going translucent. Um, probably going to end up adding a little bit more grease to that pan. The onions and veggies soak it up. So that's why I want to keep an eye on that the whole time. It's a great recipe, Teresa. So I'm coming back in with some bacon grease. If y'all don't keep bacon grease on hand, um, I encourage you to save your bacon grease for cooking, but you can always just use butter. We've used butter plenty. Yeah, we've got some good boiling going on. Some All right, the bricks are going to be good. Trike living, what's up? What's up? How you been doing? We are just boiling out the pot. We'll pull that off a little bit. Next time you come in, Teresa, you're going to be blue as well. If anybody has any new content out there, if y'all would like to drop your link, that is fine with me. Absolutely. So, I'm going to These are hands down the best shrimp and grits I've ever had, so I'm glad to be able to share the recipe with everybody. God bless America. What is up, hey, brother? God bless America. <laughs> okay, y'all. Now, once we get to this point, that's exactly what you want to see. God bless America said, y'all got to stop all this cooking videos. I've gained 15 pounds since y'all started. <laughs> Greg Manley, what's up, brother? I'm coming in, y'all, and I'm dusting all of those meat and veggies with flour. So now she's adding flour to what she's been frying up there. The bell peppers, the onions, the bacon pieces, and the smoked sausage. This is going to be a roux. A roux is any time you have a fat, you mix it with flour and you cook it a little bit, and then you add a liquid to it to make a gravy. This is a gravy base, is what this is, y'all. Hey, Yasmin Wu, how you doing this hey, evening? Yasmin. Good to see you. So, you can't rush to add any liquid to this, just because you want to get a little bit of that toastiness to that flour. So that's a really perfect consistency right here. You can see the flour soaked up all of that bacon grease, it's all just toasting right now. It's cooking into each other. You're getting that, that bacon profile. You got the veggies in there. You got the meat, the crispy little bits and pieces of bacon in there and sausage that are toasted. And then as soon as I start to get that color change, you can see where the gravy has gotten darker. Um, your roux is getting brown right there. Is when I come in and actually can grab a whisk. We appreciate everybody for being here tonight. Hope everybody's having a great day. Paul Peck, what's up, go, brother? Bam! Ready? This is my chicken broth. Chicken broth going in. Bam! We're going to whisk that. I'm to make too much of a mess. I'm telling you, folks, it may not look the greatest, but this stuff is mouth-watering. This is officially a bacon sausage gravy. Bacon sausage gravy. With peppers and onions. With okay. peppers and onions, that's right. And that was about four and a half, five cups of liquid. If you have to add any more liquid to keep it thin, it just needs to be plain old water. Everybody make sure to check out Paul Peck too. He's got over a hundred thousand subscribers. They're all great oh my people. Goodness, Paul? He's got awesome tips. If you're doing any home remodeling, working with drywall, anything like that, check out Paul Peck. He's got great content. Okay. Mr. C Grow Life, how's everything been going, my friend? Bo Potato, what's up, my friend? How you doing, Bo? Hey, bud. You got a Peagle on the way, my friend. <laughs> Bo is another great friend right there. Y'all check him out as well, too. This will definitely be saved to my Tasty Dishes playlist. Bam, <laughs> heck yeah. Thank you very much, Trike Living, and the family's doing great. I did catch your comment a few minutes ago. I didn't respond because Mrs. AAP was talking. It's okay. But the family's doing great, and I hope your family's doing great as well, too. So, guys, I'm going to come back over. We had our shrimp, and they were over here just sitting and resting, doing their thing, coming together. They got some lemon juice on them. 
They had Old Bay, salt and pepper, um, some Cajun flavor seasoning to them, and all that flavor has bound to them pretty well. Now you are going to get a transfer of flavor the minute they hit that pan. Your gravy will go from a basic just bacon sausage gravy to a full-on seafood gravy. So we're going to watch. I always add the shrimp last. Shrimp, the worst thing you can ever do is overcook a shrimp. Okay? So we're going to add that in right there. Don't overcook your shrimp. No. The minute shrimp turn pink, people, they are done. Overcooked shrimp is the number one killer to most seafood dinners. They get tough. They get yucky. And you can see how beautiful. It's a thinner gravy. That's how I wanted it. You can see those shrimp already starting to turn a little bit of pink there. Just let them go in there. Bump it back up. As soon as that comes back to a bowl, those will be done. And then we can go straight into plating. That's how easy this dinner is. We've got some 2020 quarters to give away. Ghost Pirates sent me, my friends. Y'all check them out. Next time I go live and we're down there doing the giveaways, we got a 420 giveaway coming up too in another day or so. So make sure you tell all your friends about that. It's going to be a pretty good one. If y'all saw me making a dry ice hash and all that, then you're going to want to be there for the next live stream. Uh, so y'all check out Ghost Pirate. He's got a giveaway as well too. It's some 2020 quarters with the bat on them. I know that they're in circulation a little bit, but I have a hard time ever finding them in public. So it's pretty cool to have them as a collector's item. Thank you to Ghost Pirate for that. She's going to be making some of these red lobster biscuits to go with the shrimp and grits. That's a bonus right there. Yeah, um, we don't always have a starch or toast with this but i just thought tonight it would be good i'm just doing one package of it um so what we have is a package of the biscuit mix and i go by the recipe it's a three quarters cup of cold water um and then it says a half a cup i go a little bit over a half a cup of shredded cheese when i do that um also you have your um i think it's a half a cup of butter quarter cup of butter with the little seasoning pouch don't miss it that in the microwave that's your topper so it can just go straight in the microwave. We're getting a little bit more movement in there with the gravy, which is what I want to see. It looks good. Take 35 seconds on that. Um, you see we're getting some pink to the shrimp. Heck yeah, my friend. It's going to be an epic 420 giveaway coming up as well. Yeah. Y'all want to check that out. Greatly appreciate everyone here as well, too. Yes, guys. So I'm just going to mix this batter together and put it out um, on my, my baking sheet. Are you using one with the holes in it or a whole baking sheet beside? Um, Probably see. that one because the one with the holes, you're going to have that batter going through and cooking to the bottom. Oh, yeah. No, I'm going to use a flat sheet for the biscuit dough. I need to grab some pan spray. Woo! Biscuits, red lobster biscuits with southern style shrimp and grits. This is going to be the bomb. I'm just doing a small little batch of biscuits. I'm not doing nothing fancy off the box, y'all. So that's not as exciting. But I think that those are probably about done. Sorry about that. I accidentally flashed the phone off while I was turning these grits around. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a great evening. I know this is a change up. Everybody's like, what in the world? They went from a 420 Grow Network to a Dagom cooking show. But you know, we just want to do something different. I'm sure everybody's ready to see some different stuff going on. <laughs> and the bushes said, don't touch the food. <laughs> and the bushes has gone live a few times lately. Y'all check him out as well too. He's an electrician. He's putting together all kinds of complicated computerized stuff. I'm not sure what it all is. But he's a great friend as well, too. A good person to have on your side. Check him out. Make sure you grab him up. Bo said, I love shrimp and grits, cheesy biscuits I just eat, and I'm still hungry. <laughs> it's almost like he can just eat and eat and eat with these things. I tell you that. Yeah, the kids love these uh, cheesy biscuits. And I do have a copycat recipe. I could have made these from scratch, but they were on sale at Sam's when I went the other day, so I was picking them up. And Joe, awesome one. He said, different is good. Perhaps he should try something new as well. So you never really know, and it's kind of gut-wrenching to do something new and change things up, but you know, you never know if you don't try, and I think keeping things similar by having some cooking shows, having some awesome 420 giveaways, and growing our networks yeah. with awesome people, I mean, that's still important to me as well, too, so 
we're still going to be doing that as well. Okay, so I got 12 biscuits out that mix, y'all. Carl Stevenson Auditing, what is up? How you doing, Carl? What's up, my friend? Thank you for coming in. We appreciate seeing you tonight and hope you're doing well. We're making some Carolina-style shrimp and grits here. Some of the best I've ever had. I'm sure there's other cooks out there, but for what this is, whoo, tell you what, you're going to want to try this recipe, and if y'all haven't got the whole thing, y'all can go back through and look at it. These are going to go about 12 to 14 minutes, y'all, um, on 425. Mine says 400 because it's a convection bake, but that is done. So I'm going to, uh, you see the color of it? It's that dark color. It's beautiful. It's actually a little bit brighter looking through my phone than it is in person, probably because of the lights up here on the so, exhaust fan. Y'all can see the grits right here, folks. Um, I don't do a heavy salt just because the gravy has already been salted and flavored really well. And that's a really, really thickness to that gravy right there. So that's done. I'm going to show you how I plate them. Don't forget the cheese. Bam! <laughs> Between the butter and cheese in this house, you would think we'd be a bunch of heifers in here. <laughs> Halfway. 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 Vegan Realist, he's got a great channel as well. Like I was saying earlier, y'all check that out. He's got a lot of great friends over there. Good place to go and meet new people. Appreciate you being here tonight as well, vegan. Thank you very much, too. Ghost Pirates up in there saying, I mean parsley. Yeah, that does decorate it up good. Putting some parsley right on yeah. the top. Now, when there are restaurants, we were doing that. What's up, Bad Blood Reptiles? How you doing, my friend? Sorry that you're not blue at the moment. Don't worry about the colors. That's just, you know, the, to me, a moderator is there for dropping links. So the next time you come in, you'll be blue as well, too. What is up, Bad Blood? Hope you've been doing well. We'll get you turned blue too. That way, if you got some new content out there, if you want to get your channel name out there, y'all are welcome to drop your links right here, my friends. This is a really, really easy, I mean, I consider it a cheap meal um, just because the ingredients are Madman Serpents in the house. Readily available. Um, gravy thickens as it sits, you guys. So I did turn it off. Um, I'm just spinning some grits into the bowls. Thank you, Bad Blood Reptiles. Good to see you tonight as well, too. And good to see Madman. <laughs> Rosa Madden, what is up? What is up? As How you doing tonight, I Rosa? Wing grits. I wish I could tell you the exact consistency I get on, but I don't have a clue. Everybody that's gray in here will be blue next time they come. And I'm just saying that because, you know, we were a grow network, and I want everybody to be able to grow to their channel when they're here at any time. This is going to be delicious, my friends. It's, it's, it's a meal I highly recommend you trying. The one thing we don't have right now that would really just set this off is um, sourdough toast and butter. I mean, that just goes with this meal like two peas in a pod. Y'all got to yeah. try that too. So, um, <laughs> Jen Life said smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Topper. Over here in the stern. Madman Serpents has got a great channel too. Y'all check him out. He's got some big, awesome snakes. Check him out. He's got a great family of friends as well too. Another place that you can go and grow your channels as well too. Bad Blood Reptile said, good to see you again, Madman. LOL. We got Judd Rios up in here too. And Rosa Madden says, yum, yum. Don't freak out when you wake up in the morning and I'm sitting at the table. <laughs> says in the bushes. <laughs> I tell you, we love gravy in this house. I mean, homemade gravy, whoo, if you know how to make it right, it's good with every meal. <laughs> um, um, you can see, you just get your cheesy grits. Um, whenever I plate these, I try to make sure it's you know, get some shrimps in there, get some meat in there for the youngins. And you literally just pile it on, let it kind of smooth over the top. I mean, that's exactly what you're looking for right there, you guys. Um, and that's how we would serve it in the restaurant with a little bit of parsley on top. Uh-oh. <laughs> Phoenix had a snake and it escaped. It's probably in the neighbor's house. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have a heart attack. I wouldn't be able to be his neighbor. I 
you can see the bacon comes out crunchy but soggy at the same time. You've got that great profile in there with the flavors Blind Neil. coming together and the gravy on top. What's up, Blind Neil? How you doing today, bro? Good to see you. Another awesome friend right there. Y'all check out Blind Neil as well. This was a really quick dinner and the kids always ask for extra shrimp so I'm sure they'll come back for more. Holy smokes, Bad Blood said he's only got 12 snakes now. He needs more. <laughs> oh One God. snake is too many for me because them things scare me to death. Me too. I, I like to look it. at them, but I don't know. I got a snake phobia for some reason. <laughs> I have snakes and spiders. I can't do it all. Of course, we teach the kids not to go near the snakes. It's hard to have them as pets. There's so many poisonous ones around the south, and young kids don't know what they're doing. Y'all can see the peppers, the different colors. Um, I got a little bit of the seasoning mixed into the gravy. You got some onions, you got a sausage, you got bacon. Um, the shrimp, you know, being juicy on top. This is a delicious, delicious thing. This really is great. I mean, I highly recommend y'all trying it. If you've never tried it, a lot of you probably have. Maybe not this recipe. A lot of times when you get shrimp and grits, you don't get that brown gravy with them. So Mrs. AAP showing y'all how to do that, uh, that stuff that was and in the pan. I say Southern style, y'all, but that's really, like I said, a Charleston thing. It's like a Charleston style. And we're yeah. from Charleston, South Carolina. So that's kind of where the accent comes from and the Southern style cooking. Got 31 awesome friends up in here with us right now. Thank y'all greatly for that. I yeah. know Mrs. AAP appreciates that very much. Means a lot to me too for her to be able to go live and to get a lot of awesome support like y'all up in here. Thank y'all greatly for that. Thank you to the members up in here as well too. I greatly appreciate that very much. I know things are tough on everybody right now. So for the ones that are a member to my channel, thank you greatly for your support to my channel. And Mrs. AAP, I should say our channel because really for everybody that's up in here, this is all of our channel. We're coming here to grow, learn, have a good time. So I never really consider my channel mine. I consider it ours. I didn't set a timer on that. Uh, Should we check them? On the biscuits. These little red lobster biscuits are freaking delicious. I don't know if y'all have tried them or not. I recommend you trying them. <laughs> now there is a knockoff recipe. If you Google it, you can get a knockoff red lobster biscuit recipe copycat. and it's really good. It's a copycat recipe. Yep. Very good biscuits. So we're just waiting for those to come out. Mrs. Jojo said she's going to try that. Now that's Jen's life mother right there. Two great, great people. Y'all yeah. make sure to check both of them out. Jen goes live. She's been video gaming, doing Fortnite. She goes live doing mukbang challenges. Y'all check her out. She's got a great channel. And, and mostly important of all, she's such a great friend. I like Jen's channel. She's a trip. Heck yeah, it's fun to hang out over there. I have a good time with all y'all. Treeland Truth is putting out great stuff as well, too. Y'all make sure to check her out. She's putting out videos pretty much almost daily. Treeland said that she was house hunting every year in the mitten somewhere. So maybe she'll move closer to us. And if you're ever close enough by, any one of y'all can hit us up. Come over for dinner. E. Reed, what is up? What is up? We're getting there. Almost. Fixing dinner myself. Bam! <laughs> e. Reed, we hope you're having a great night tonight. Yep. Glad to catch y'all. Gotta go take care of some snakes. Much respect. I'll be seeing y'all. Hey, Madman Serpents, good to see you, brother. Yeah, and tell your family I said, man. what's up, bro? Miss you too, man. Hope everything's going well in your life for you too. Rosa Madden's up in here ready to pollinate, my friends. If y'all want to drop your links before we get out of here, feel free to do so. <laughs> Phoenix, you're a trip. <laughs> Vegan Realist is up in here still rocking with us. He's been up in here with us every day for the last few times we've went live. Great supporter so, right there. Y'all check him out. Um, there's plenty enough here for seconds for the kids because honestly they'll eat the shrimp and then come back hollering that somebody got more shrimp than they did. Um, so I always use at least a pound and a half. Sexy. Out. Matt, what is up, my friend? How you doing, Matt? Hope everything's going good with you, bro. Yeah. We just finished up the meal here. So anybody that's interested, the video will be uploaded to YouTube here soon. We got number one, Karma Ghost up in here. What's up, Karma, Karma Ghost? How, How are you, you doing? Darling? Good to see you, Karma. Hope y'all um, having a good night tonight. So we just made our uh, gravy with our shrimp, our shrimp gravy to go over our grits and cheese. And um, all that's coming together. I'm about to pull some biscuits out the oven right now. I did the 
the cheddar lobster uh, biscuits from Red Lobster. We got the Urban Cook up in here. What is up, the Urban <laughs> Cook? How you doing, my hey, friend? Hey, Urban Cook. Good to see you. I just made some Charleston, South Carolina-style shrimp and grits. Um, and it was really super easy. It's cheap, except for the seafood, of course. And I was telling everybody, we've even altered this to where you can saute some scallops. Um, you can do crab meat. Um, any kind of seafood you want to add at the top of that would just take it up a whole nother notch. Um, what is up, GMP Sounds? How y'all been doing? Good to see you back, my friend. Thank you for coming in. We're doing good. The Urban Cook, thanks for coming in, my friend. When y'all yeah. come back in, y'all be blue, too. That way, if you've got some good content out there, you can drop your links right here. Yeah, yeah. All content is welcome here. Everybody's welcome. All content's welcome. Anybody with any new footage, drop the link. Aquatic Ness is making dinner for her family, too, about to eat shrimp is good on anything. You write about that. <laughs> So, Phoenix rides and said, nah, I don't do spiders. Snakes are okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do spiders or snakes. You know that, Phoenix. Terrence Trower's still rocking. Like I said, make sure y'all grab up Terrence Trower. I know they're making it hard on churches around. And, and so you could go to YouTube and watch some of these folks learn about Jesus and make a tithe right there. And, and it's the same thing. I mean, you're, you're seeking Jesus. And we know if you seek Jesus, you're going to find Jesus. He's going to find you. So Terrence Strower is a great place to go. Seek Jesus, my friends. Heck yeah. Go. Check out those biscuits, Trust me, it don't matter where you go. If you're seeking Jesus, he knows that. Bam! So dinner will be served. We hope y'all have a great night tonight. Yes. Thank y'all very Thank much for guys. joining us another night with Mrs. AAP in the kitchen. We greatly appreciate yep. each and every one of y'all. Y'all make this well worth our time. We'll be back. Keep in mind, we're doing a 420 giveaway coming up either. It could be tonight. You never know. Keep that reminder bell on. If it's not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. Yep. An epic 420 giveaway coming up. For all of our friends out there, thank you and God bless you all. We'll yep. see y'all again next time. Bam!